Hey Maker, Canva just announced a new design tool called Magic Media. Magic Media turns ideas into images. Stick around to see how I'm using this new feature for product photography. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole. And I'm a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. We're going to jump right in to Canva's magic media and their free online AI image generator. Yes. If you scroll to the bottom here, there is all kinds of questions that can be answered for you. This feature is available to canva free users make sure you go through all of this and read all of the information about this ai image generator especially these components here for personal and commercial use i am not a lawyer so i am not going to cover anything in their terms it is your responsibility as the user to make sure that you are reading these terms and understanding your rights let's go ahead and click in to this tool. So as a product photography coach for makers, I have makers come to me all the time asking me what types of settings and props they should use to style their product photos. A lot of times I tell my makers to take it to Pinterest and type in, let's say Gothic jewelry aesthetic anything with aesthetic or style behind it to just kind of get a feel with how people are taking their product photos and what their images look like. Now that we have this AI image generator and we can turn our text into an image, this is how I am getting inspiration for all kinds of product photos and I recommend you do the same. So really you can type anything in here. It's going to be important to mention the type of product that you have. You want to focus on the overall aesthetic of your branding and the type of ideal customer that you want to actually purchase your product. Who did you make your product for? It's also important to include some additional elements about the lighting. Do you want soft, even light? Do you want hard defined shadows? Do you want your photo to be more of a dark and moody aesthetic? You can really punch out any information, type it in here and see what visual inspiration comes to life. Let's start with a man's watch. Let's say the man is, you know, sophisticated. He's older. He loves, you know, smoking cigars and drinking scotch. Uh, maybe he has, you know, a special place in his home where it's a little, you know, dark and moody, very masculine, dark woods. Now, I'll be fully transparent that I am not the best writer. So a lot of times I take some of these prompts into chat GTP and come up with them. So we're going to go ahead and just copy and paste this in here. It says a man's luxury watch showcased in a dark moody setting on a table next to the watch. That's a glass of aged scotch half full with a few ice cubes floating in it and a lit cigar resting in an elegant ashtray with wisp smoke rising into the air. Of course, the more detailed you can get, um, detailed storytelling, all of that is going to help generate a better result. So we're going to choose landscape here and we're going to create image. Okay. So this provides us with a lot of visual inspiration when it comes to how we can go about creating our own styled photos. Like this is an entire aesthetic. So now we have something to visually go off of and kind of replicate on our own when it comes to taking product photos. So I recently was doing a one-on-one -on -one support with a student and she was just trying to describe the aesthetic, what she wanted to see. So of course, you know, we took it to Pinterest, 
We typed in all this information. She sells high-end jewelry. She wanted to give off this Tuscany, like, vineyard feel to her photos. So let's see what we can get here. We're looking at a high-end necklace, intricately designed and draped over a weathered stone pedestal with grapevines graciously winding around it. The background showcases the gentle slopes of rolling Tuscan hills under a soft golden sunset, capturing the essence of a traveling, sophisticated, it should have said woman, but we ran out of room. Okay, hold on a second. Let's take out some of these details. Uh, winding around it. Let's see, sophisticated woman with a taste for timeless elegance. Perfect. Choose landscape, generate that image. Now, just like if you're used to using chat GTP to get prompts for different things, keep in mind as well, this is going to be one of those things where you're going to have to, you know, play with it over and over again. Okay. So this is definitely not what I wanted. Um, draped high end necklace. It's very high end. Um, let's say delicate, delicate necklace draped over a... Mm, I won't let me in stone with grape with grape vines and are they branches. Let's just, let's say a feel of the Tuscan Hills under the soft golden sunset capturing. Uh, let's try that. Okay. This is, this is getting, getting closer, definitely getting closer. Just the overall aesthetic, right? Trying to find some inspiration about how we can, what types of settings we can use, what types of props we can add into the actual photo, how to actually style and compose the photo. Let's go back and try another one. Let's do a birthday card on a natural table with colorful birthday Colorful, let's say party elements surrounding it, surrounding, let's say the card. Let's just try something that simple. These are very, very maximalist type styling here. We've got a lot, a lot of different elements. So let's go ahead and add them in here. I don't necessarily recommend utilizing this concept for your images on Etsy, but for social media purposes, if you wanted to create some fun mock-ups like this, one thing you can do too is go into edit and go to magic eraser and magic eraser now has a click option. So technically we can go in here and we can click on the card and hit erase. Have it remove the card and then you can go in and overlay your own card and add a drop shadow and post it to social media. Okay, let's do one more. Let's say I sell a Christmas tree scented candle. So let's drop this in here. It's a Christmas tree scented candle in a warm, cozy setting. Candle sits on a wooden table surrounded by pine branches, pine cones, and festive decorations like red berries and ornaments. Soft glow from the candle illuminates the surroundings. Let's just go with that. Okay, so this one's probably my favorite.
Okay, so this is a great way to kind of get some inspo on how to actually style your own Christmas tree candle. So there's two components as to why I say to use this for inspo. Um, one, because things tend to come up wonky. Like you'll notice here that the actual um, text on the, the candle is a little wonky, right? So we're using this for just visual inspiration purposes. The second component to all of this is we just don't really have a lot of information in regards to how AI images can be used at this point. So I highly recommend taking advantage and learning, especially how to speak to AI to kind of get the results that you want. But taking the time to just plug in some of this and get some visual inspiration so that you then can go out and purchase similar props or style your stuff a similar way or create a very similar aesthetic. Let me know in the comments what you are most excited about when it comes to this AI image generator and how you plan to use it for your product-based business. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about taking your own high quality product photos. See you next time.